Business Editor Richard Southern joins us once again from the Home Office. Hi, Richard. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you, Janella. How are you? Not too bad. And it was a happy Monday on the markets, which were booming today as trading week got underway. Yeah, boy, and you know we needed it in our portfolio, as many of us were hurting. So it was very good to see uh, the TSX kick off the new week of trade with a 654% gain. Bay Street was up 5%. Things even better on Wall Street when that closing bell rang today. The Dow was up 1,600 points, 7 and 3 quarters percent. The S&P was up 7 percent. These are huge gains. Uh, it came as uh, some of the areas hardest hit by the coronavirus offered hope that maybe the worst of the outbreak was on the horizon. We saw the death toll slow across major European nations, and U.S. President Trump last night said his country was seeing a leveling off of the crisis. Uh, some of the stocks that, that rallied are ones that continue to, you know, perform well under the self-quarantine situation or under Janela. Shares of Wayfair were up 41 percent on Wall Street. That online home goods retailer said it's seen a doubling of its business. I guess folks at home are uh, maybe ordering, maybe they're ordering a, a desk for the kids to do the work or, yep. you know, more comfy chair for them <laughs> since they're spending well, so I much know, time I've, at home. I've ordered some office supplies on Amazon. So sure, as you're working from home, when you're trying to bulk up and all that stuff, and it benefits the likes of Wayfair for sure. Absolutely. Okay. We know that our healthcare workers are working so hard through this pandemic, and now a big box retailer is offering a helping hand. I thought this was really great. This is Walmart Canada, and what it's doing now, Walmart, it has this new program. It's going to start later in the week, Janella. Hospital workers here in the GTA can order groceries or other products delivered right to the hospital they're working oh, in. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're starting with eight hospitals on this. Daryl Porter is the VP of e commerce at Walmart Canada. We had this idea of, of uh, helping our healthcare workers. They're on the front line. Uh, we wanted to create something that would be easy for them and just be one less thing that they have to worry about. Essentially, what we're going to do is it will be a set time that we will deliver all the orders for that hospital to a specific spot in like the parking lot. And right out of the truck, we'll deliver right into their cars. So they're very safe, very controlled manner. Pretty good initiative there, don't you think, Janella? Very cool. And it's kind of twofold there, too, because, you know, then the healthcare workers don't have to stand in line as many people do when they're going to the grocery stores now. And it also means that they're not, you know, exposing other people after having been in the hospital, uh, you know, in the grocery store. So it's yeah, win-win. Absolutely. Good all around there. Yeah. Okay. Some other companies, we've heard about companies retooling in an attempt to provide much needed medical supplies. What? Who's added to that list now? Well, Tesla, the electric car manufacturer, it posted this video over the weekend. This is really neat. This is Tesla now showing off how it's making a, a prototype ventilator. And to make it, it's using auto parts. It's using parts from its Model 3 sedan. The design includes a touchscreen computer that controls uh, all the systems. Uh, so some really good work here from Tesla. There's questions about how many they'll be able to get to market in short order, but nonetheless, they're working on it. Other automakers like uh, General Motors and Ford have also started uh, making ventilators. Uh, we heard from Apple's CEO over the weekend, Janella. Apple said it is um, producing face shields uh, for medical work. You see Tim Cook there, the CEO, showing off one of these, um, these uh, face masks they're making, and they hope to have a million of those out in pretty short order. So pretty cool how companies of all sorts have kind of retooled to help out the crisis here. Very nice, very nice. And uh, you're working on a couple of stories that we're going to talk about uh, next hour. Yeah, a couple of fun, more lighthearted stories just a little bit after 630, including it's not just you. Everyone seems to be baking bread at home these days. It's caused a run on flour and yeast. We're looking at the bread baking craze coming up after 630. I call it panic baking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Richard, thanks so much. We'll see you next hour.